Well, hello everyone. I'm Scorp and welcome to Fields of Zen. Um, uh, we are recording the Fields of Zen intro today. Yay! And here we go. So you may um, recognize what was in the background. I guess I should have <laughs> zoomed out a little bit more. The um, this is a recreation of sorry about having to do that. I had to move. This is a recreation of um, a Fallout the Sandra Madre or something. I don't know. One of our other arbiters, I could could tell you a little bit better actually, but um, this was mainly built in vanilla. Um, I did the balloons in um, in creative. But um, this is mainly built in vanilla, and so let's take a real quick trip inside. This thing is massive, by the way, and um, Arbiter After Dark was the person to begin and do most of its construction with some help along the way, of course. On the first floor here, we have our... Uh, this is kind of like the speakeasies and uh, the casinos of the time. I don't know what the time period was, but Fallout is uh, Fallout is kind of its own time period. So I've just got to adjust something real quick here. There we go. I'm seeing two screens, mine and then the, the stream screen in the background. So, And then there are little slot machines. And then we're going to go up the stairs. There's our... Um, I forgot what the tables are supposed to be, I'm afraid. But that's okay. They're fun. And then here is our first bar, because from what I've understood, there's like six bars in this place. So uh, here's our background pool, and this thing is just massive. I don't even know how many blocks it is, but it's it's huge. Little sitting area, which I had started building, and then After Dark actually corrected to make, to make it look better. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. I love the new candles, by the way. I only wish that uh, the candles would um, be able to rotate so that when you add more candles, it doesn't always um, face the same direction. But oh well. Here is, here is like your little speakeasy where we've got a theater. Figaro, 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 Figaro. <laughs> um, Fields of Zen is right now on 1.18.2 because um, some of the crucial plugins we had were not um, not available for uh, 1.19 yet, so we are going to have to wait. Uh, we're going to have to wait a little bit. And here is a little library, and then another bar. <laughs> and through here, we actually have um, your dining experience, which I'm 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 very happy how the tables and everything. I actually built the tables and chairs there, and then. Um, we both figured out that um, these work very effectively as stools. Um, if anyone's interested, like the dining tables and, and chairs are just basic, but we found out that you can put a piece of carpet on top of a, uh, I forgot their name, but they work very good as bar stools then. So I'm not going to give you a full tour of the inside because I feel like uh, I feel like that would just take a really long time. But here is the kitchen. I do like the kitchen. It turned out really well. I'm not going to give you a tour of the bathrooms, but I will just let you know they're there. And then here's the outside eating area. I didn't realize that the spore flowers made this many spores. <laughs> so I hope you like hay fever <laughs> with your food. I hope you like you know, like sneezing a little. Um, and then here is the outside again. So. This is the, I think it's like the Santa Madre or something. I think it's actually based off of a real world area, but I, I neglected to actually um, take a look at it. We do have um, a plugin which is, is very neat on our server called the Lift plugin, which um, allows you to build um, iron block, button, and sign. It doesn't matter what the blocks are behind it. And then above, if you do a glass, a glass um, block, a button, and a sign. And the person updated it 
to go ding. Oh, I, I absolutely love that update. But uh, I built a couple airships just because I felt like the, the space around the Santa Madre or whatever it's called is uh, was a little empty. But so we put in some fun, some fun little airships. We are going to go over to the main area of the server because believe it or not, the Santa, the I think it's called the Santa Madre. I'm going to call it that. That might be wrong, but I'm going to call it that because that's the only thing I can think of. But believe it or not, this monolithically huge building, like you can seriously see how how big this building is because it's it's the size, it's the width of this entire little town. And I'm going to give you a more detailed of the town. So, but uh, believe it or not, that is not the main feature of <laughs> of the server. Um, or I should say that's not the interactive main feature. That is the main feature of the new spawn, but that's not the interactive one. When you first join our server, you will end up um, joining in this building here. In this building here is um, any person who is underneath expert, which is our top non-judicial rank, will um, end up in this I just realized how loud my microphone might be because it's really close to my face. Um, but I have no way of telling that. I'm sorry. Um, turn your volume down, I guess. <laughs> sorry about that. Uh, but anyway, this is where you'll spawn. Um, let me let me turn the volume down just a little bit on here. What, oh, what's going on here? Oh, yeah, there. All right. So this is where you'll spawn in. Um, if you do forward slash spawn, this is where you'll spawn in. Why is that out of focus? That seems out of focus to me. Maybe I'm mistaken. Anyway, well, I should say the focus isn't as good as obviously the actual game in front of me. But um, this is where you will um, pick up your first stuff. We offer beds, leather armor, um, apples, um, a clock, that'll come in later, um, wooden tools, including a sword, and free torches. Why waste your coal on torches? They are like the, the easiest thing to make, so I don't want everybody wasting coal. This is our book of knowledge, um, and actually if you take the book off of here, um, one of our plugin managers made it, so if you take the book off of here, it will actually boop, pop another book on there. <laughs> that is, I, I really like that. He, he does a very good job. His name is John Dog. He's our plugin engineer. So then I'm going to make it day just because uh, it's easier. Um, off to the left, we have our um, beginner market, and off to the right, we have our advanced market. Um, that's not to say you can't, you can have a market stall in either one, but, um, and the market stalls are free, just, uh, this is mine, just ask, um, ask one of the judicial ranks to, to give you, um, the thing and they'll give you the market stall, but we have two different ones because, um, the people that are just starting out may need you know, dirt blocks and gravel and and stone swords and things like that. And um, people that have been playing the game for a while will not need stone swords. They'll need, excuse me, they'll need, um, you know, netherite tools and diamond tools. And so I, I felt like walking through a marketplace and seeing, like, for instance, my shop is always in the beginning of market because I sell sand and gravel. I just sell the basic things. Um, cobblestone, stone, and stone bricks. Like stone bricks is the most advanced thing that I sell. And it's at a cost of three iron ingots for 64 of them. So it's it's something that's actually very easy um, to get for people that are beginner. And um, the advanced store would sell things like beacons and netherite tools and things like that and their cost would be so prohibitive that if you walked into this marketplace and you looked on the left and saw one iron ingot for gravel and you look on the right and you see a beacon for you know a stack of diamonds or something like it's it it'll just it'll just be like disheartening you know i felt like it would be disheartening this uh, marketplace was actually built by lego boy he's one of our protectorates he did a really good job um, this is kind of a, um, 
we have we have kind of a standard market stall look so that you have one two three four five it's usually five by five one, two three four or in this case five by four and um it's meant so that you can place because we have trade signs as you see anyone can walk up to this and make a trade without me even having to be online and that's very that's very convenient for our users um, and this is designed, as you can see, I've covered the front of this with everything. This is designed to give the most coverage. And I could actually, excuse me, <laughs> I, I do apologize. Um, I haven't been sleeping as best as I should. But anyway, I can actually cover the, side, the sides on this too. It's, it's set up so that you can cover the sides as well. And so you get the maximum amount of sale potential if you want to do that. Um, and each of them comes with a stove, a furnace that um, you need to, to put fuel in, and um, a storage in case you want to store things here. And then we have our, this was Anvil Annie, which unfortunately we have custom made, um, oh, I forgot to, I still forgot to give him his name. We have custom made server villagers. We used to have a custom store, but um, this is, um, now we just have the villagers and in lieu of Anvil Annie, because I can't get her to work for some reason, we just put public anvils. Um, I believe that once a person builds an anvil, they shouldn't they shouldn't break. The anvils should not break. I don't like the fact they have durability. So Anvil Annie, you would normally bring your broken anvil to her, and she would sell you a new one. But until I can get her working again, here is um, three anvils. Excuse me again. I didn't realize how tired I was. It's only 7.30 at night. And then this is, um, what the heck is his name? His name isn't Nitwit. Oh, that's right. It's um, Forestry Dan. So, give me a second. Oop, I think Oak Signs, yeah. Forestry Dan! And um, at the time that we had started there were some saplings that were very hard to get including the um jungle and the acacia um and so this was another option if you got 64 cocoa beans you could get four jungle saplings if you got 64 jungle logs you could get four jungle saplings and so this added pumpkin seeds for acacia this added melon seeds and just made it a little bit easier. You would actually never need to leave your house if you had melons to to get um, to get birch or dark oak. If you didn't need the other type, but you needed dark oak, and you have enough melons, well, crap, melon seeds are easy to make. So there you go. There's your dark oak saplings. And then over here we have egg Zachary, <laughs> which it's part of a very uh, um, and that he sells um, eggs, so different eggs. So if you bring in 20 emeralds or 20 diamonds, you can get a mushroom. And um, what happens is you get the egg and then you just place it down. <sighs> and you're guaranteed that animal when you place the egg down. And so um, different vary, varying animals... So, like, pigs are everywhere, which is why they're the cheapest. Um, cows, squids. Squids are actually, I think, one of the cheapest because of the fact that, you know, you can't even breed them. You just spawn them to kill. But you can also use them in aquariums and things like that. And so people were interested in decorative function. And this also means that, like, ocelots. Oh, I forgot. We added the ocelots. This also means that um, you don't have to get a lead and take a chicken 50 blocks to your house or something to your chicken coop. Um, you can just buy the egg from Egg Zachary. And then here's Trader Joe. And Trader Joe is kind of our miscellaneous. And right now we added um, glowstone for a 15 light. Now lights are something new in Minecraft, which I actually didn't even know about. Um... So let me get a glowstone, and um, I'll trade it for him. And um, what? Uh, oh, that's interesting. 
if you're holding the item, he shows you that he's got a trade for it. I didn't even know that. But so we can do this, and we grab a light. And now that 15 is not how many of those lights there are. You can see a bunch of these 15s. If you place this down, it's invisible if you're not holding that light. Watch. But that block produces 15 light. That block actually produces 15 light level now. And you can break it and it'll vanish after a second. Yep. Yeah. And then, so this allows you to build your house without needing torches and things like that. Because if you get your hands on some glowstone, you can buy the light bulb from him. And it's, and they have multiple, like you can do all the way from zero to 15. But I just did the 15 because I can't imagine many people are going to want to make a cinematic house. You know, on a survival, if they were doing a story, they could. And this is our morale. And our morale, specifically, I should mention, the reason that we have these villagers is because we decided to sell things that you can't normally get your hands on. So in this case, chainmail. Armorel sells the entire thing of chainmail. You used to not be able to make horse armor. I'm not sure if you can. Ooh, and let me um, dunk on it. He always loses his sponge recipe. I don't understand it. He's supposed to have a recipe for sponges right here, but I can't figure out why he's not retaining that recipe. Maybe I, I didn't give it enough uses or something. He also does blocks of coal or emeralds for diamonds so you can convert. Ooh, we got a new person. Let's go, uh, let's Drake in. We have a lot of new person, people that are starting to show up. So, um, boop. So, and I really appreciate that. I like new people. And then, um, Lego Boy built this hedge maze, <laughs> which I won't show you how to solve it. Um, and then in here we have our, um, we have, um, we always do a couple things. We make wilderness teleporters. They can take you to random places in the wilderness so that um, you don't uh, have to build near spawn if you don't want to. You can go someplace by yourself. And then we have the nether, which takes you to random places in the nether. And we started doing that because that way we don't strip mine. We have, um, we have a nether portal and an end portal right at spawn. And then we always have a teleporter that takes you to random places in the nether and the end islands. And that way you don't have to, um, oh, I should say hit T to chat, just in case they don't know how to chat. Um, and then we always have these so that you don't, you don't run into a place where it's just strip mined. And then the end islands so that you don't have to fight the dragon to build or harvest the end islands and then uh that's that's pretty much the end of the intro um i did want to show you um if you're ever wondering that person just kind of standing there i don't know uh oh they must be getting their gear yeah, i think i see them gearing up so i'm going to show you if you're ever wondering about the culture we have here and um culture we have here on um, Fields of Zen and um, what's it like to be a server owner and some of the things uh, you deal with in that case too. I'm going to, no I won't make a date um, so that you can see it and all. So this is my house, all right, and I always have a warp to my house so that um, people can always come and hang out. That's the yeet skeleton that Lego Boy made for me. And then, um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna show you. I'm not gonna back up and show you. Uh, 
I always, those are the Swedish flags that, uh, that my friend from Sweden places around my house. And the reason you notice that my house is completely torched up is because uh, that same friend from Sweden wants to definitely make sure that my house is safe. So usually he'll grab whatever torches I have and completely torch my property every available block he can. That's, that's why this is very bright too. The bees are kind of confused because I think it's nighttime. They should be going in their house. But here is my beautiful, beautiful house. All right, all right. And then 50 blocks away is a literal flaming garbage pile that the users of this server have decided to build in front of my house. <laughs> it's a literal garbage dump. If, if you ever need to know about what's it like to own a server it's building a house and then having a garbage dump and one of the other arbiters actually changed the biome so the water would be green because he re really wanted the full effect of a garbage dump 50 feet or 50 blocks from my house so that's that's basically none of these people have been banned by the way although cooler heads i'm sure would say they should be but I will say, I, I have a little more respect for the garbage dump when I checked, and this was actually all done by hand. One of the players actually, by hand, built this pile of literal flaming garbage. And that is just, when, when they, I asked them why, and they said art. And now I understand what they mean, because that is dedication to actually find all the different blocks in here. And then this is our train our train station that um, that uh, one of our players, Oliver, is actually building to the different places. He hasn't been able to play for a while because I think he's on a trip. But um, but yeah, he's, uh, he's going to have a train station that goes to different places you can get to. And it's turning out really nice. He did a really good job. I just finished up this little back part. So when he comes back, he'll actually put like a building and whatever here. So he'll have a train station to Scorp's house and the flaming pile of garbage that's next to it. <laughs> but uh, that is that is uh, that's the intro, everybody. So I hope I hope you enjoyed. I'm going to drop over here to John Dog, kneel and wave. All right, I hope to see you on the server. Um, all the information uh, should be posted. I will be putting this on my YouTube channel, and all the information uh, should be posted. We hope to see you here. Bye-bye.